Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my February favorites. And yeah, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And welcome. My name is Carissa J. If you want to see what my favorites were for the month of February, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this Kim Tai O for Wonder Lush Moisturizer. You guys know that I've been raving about the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. But I have started to use this and oh my god I love this stuff I haven't even used primer when I put on my makeup I just use this stuff and I put a little fix plus um over top of it or vice versa I'll do the fix plus first then put this it doesn't matter but this is amazing if you still can get this from Ofra um .com or Ofra Cosmetics then just pick one up I promise you I have dry dry skin so anything for hydration I'm for it but I do believe that this um it is friendly for all skin types it does say it right here it's extremely velvety soothing and lightweight um a moisturizer a moisturizer that quenches skin with intense moisture for long lasting hydration without the heavy finish of oil and grease and that is absolutely the truth um you can just wear this by itself or you can wear this under your foundation whatever you choose but i would definitely say to try one of these if you have dry skin oily skin whatever it is but definitely for dry skin this does not cling to any dry patches. It does make your skin feel very, very smooth after the application. So I would definitely pick one of these up. Next, I'm just going to go on what I see here. I do want to talk about these phone cases that I've been loving. These are from Velvet Caviar. I do have three of them. Um, and I do use uh, <laughs> Carly Bible's code for money I'll pay. Whatever you got to do to save money, I would say do so. So the this one that I have on my phone right now is the like the white marble. I also have like this navy blue marble type case, and then this pretty um, multicolored phone case. Now these are about twenty four dollars, I believe. So they're pretty inexpensive for phone cases. I do drop my phone often, and I haven't had any problems with the screen cracking or anything like that. So I absolutely believe that these are protective cases and. I think that you all should just try one out just to see I do believe that they carry all phone types like the if you have any iPhones they do have those I believe that they have for a galaxies or whatever so just go on their site I will leave it down below so you can check out some of their phone cases they do also now carry the pop sockets to match the phone case so if you're looking to get one of those to match your phone cases velvet caviar is definitely the place to go so next I want to talk about a couple of highlighters. The first highlighter is the Joyce Citrine Highlighter. I did pick this up last month and I have been loving this. It's very, um, you know, champagne. It's like a champagne type color. It's super pigmented and creamy and I believe that it works for all skin tones. And also the next highlighter I want to talk about is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And this is in the shade Precious Petals and I... Seriously, this is like my go-to, and this one has more of a, a champagne type, and this one is a little more pinky, um, bronze type color, the Wet n Wild one, and that this one is running for about $4.99. If you, and ever since I've gotten this, and I've gone back to the drugstore to look to pick up another one, I can't find it. So if you can find the Precious Petal ones, get this. This one is... I would say for deeper skin tones um, because this works well I did apply this to my sister's face on her birthday and she is a little bit darker than myself so and it look beautiful on her so the precious petals wet n wild highlighting powder pick one up so the next thing I want to talk about are some makeup palettes now these are some recent recent purchases but I have been using these <laughs> since I got it and of course you guys know that I uh, picked up Sweet Peach Palette a couple of weeks ago and I have been using this non-stop and this just smells so good. The pigmentation for the colors in here are amazing and um, I did have a subscriber tell me that she is still kind of up in the air about getting this palette and I would say girl go get it. I don't know what you're waiting for and I can't tell you that because I did wait a long time to get this palette but go get it. I promise you will not regret it. These shades are amazing. The palette is amazing. The ability for the palettes are amazing and yes pick up that sweet peach palette the next one i was kind of late jumping on the bandwagon to get this one this is the modern renaissance palette i do um have 
the sweet peach palette and this palette mixed on my eyes today and of course I know you've seen this in every a lot of the YouTube videos but this one is a great palette and it's um, an everyday palette they do have some neutral colors they do have some cranberries um, deeper brown shades so you can create any look with this and I also also picked up the Kylie um, I guess it's I don't, the Royal palette, I'm not sure. And I also used some of these colors for transi transition shades on my eyes today. Now this shade I love right here, I'm not sure what it is. I believe that this is Sorbet. And this reminds me of my um, Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. I do believe that this is still in stock. So if you wanna pick this up, I do believe that it retails for about $45. And I do think that this palette is worth it, so yeah. These three palettes have been amazing. The Modern Renaissance Peach, the Sweet Peach Palette, and the Kylie. Um, I'm not sure what the name of that palette is. So moving right along, I wanna talk about a couple of foundations that I've been loving. I did pick up the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation, and I do really like this foundation, but the foundation that I love the most is the Wet n Wild Foundation. This foundation is amazing. It's very inexpensive. I believe it's like $7. Um, you can find this at any of your drugstore that carries a Wet n Wild um, brand. And I have the shade Toffee Pecan, and this is so, beautiful like I love this little spatula applicator so you won't waste any product using this foundation and I really 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 love this the the foundation itself is you know a buildable coverage so if you like that full type of coverage you can get your desired look with this foundation it's very inexpensive if you can pick one of these shades up they do have a variety of shade ranges i did have to order this online because in my local drugstore they didn't have any of the darker shades so if you're my skin tone or darker you might want to have to um you might want to look it up online unless they you know spread out the collection in the store but i doubt it they always trying to play us brown skin people but that's okay because you can still get it online so no worries so i do want to talk about two lip products this first one is the joy um lip cream and this is in the shade Terra. i am wearing this on my lips right now it's just a very every uh, perfect nude um you can wear this every day over top of anything to tone any shade down i absolutely love this it smells like a oh this smells like a vanilla cupcake and it is amazing I love the way that it finishes on my lips it um, dries down to a matte finish but it's not sticky or anything it just feels like I have nothing on so yeah joy lip creams perfect now the next one I want to talk about is the wet and wild mega last liquid cat scoop cat suits liquid lipstick I did pick up the shade Missy and Fierce and I also have a nude shade these are a very very good liquid lipsticks they are about four to five dollars and they do not crack on your lips they are very long lasting um you might have to reapply them if you're you know going throughout the day drinking and eating and stuff but other than that I had no problems when I wore this so yes if you want to pick up a you know inexpensive liquid lipstick wet and wild has some great ones um and like i said this one is in the shade missy and fierce this is a beautiful beautiful red shade so i want to talk about these sunglasses i got these from amazon these are the um gma g-a-m-t line and these are the i feel like the knockoff version of those celine glasses that i've been seeing everybody wear they kind of dirty, but oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Aren't these so pretty? I love these glasses. They were only about $11. And um, I will leave some pictures, you know, here in the video of what I'm talking about if you're not unsure of the glasses that I'm referring to. But these are so, so pretty. Like I said, they're inexpensive. The Chanel ones run about 230 to $250 I believe I've been seeing and I only paid 11 and I you cannot tell the difference girl so if you are you know wanting to get the Celine um I don't know if I said Chanel but the Celine glasses and you're on a budget like myself go ahead and get these from Amazon and 
you can style them like the rest of them. Yeah. Oh, okay, so lastly, I want to talk about these um, Still a Magnificent Metal Eyeshadow. What are they called? Liquid Eyeshadows, and I know everybody has been raving about this. I did pick this one up in Ballet Baby. I am wearing this on my lid today. These are so, so pretty. I want to own all of them. They are retail for about $24. They come in about, I don't know, 8 to 10 different shades. I'm unsure. Um... But yes, if you can get your hands on one of these, I would say pick a shade that you like. Uh, um, they do have, like I said, a variety of them. And you don't need any primers for this. They set beautifully. They don't crack. Like some glitters, you know, after a while you can see it flaking off. And this one you will not have any problems with. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely pick one of these up for sure. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else for my favorites. Let me make sure. No, I believe that that is it. If you like this video, give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. Leave in the comments what you would like to see below. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.